Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna focus on the Bitcoin price. We're gonna have an update as usual because it looks like that currently we are breaking out to the downside from this consolidation wedge that we had in the last couple of hours. And yesterday in my Discord trading chat, which is completely for free, by the way, guys, if you want to join it, make sure to use the link down below here in the video description, because like this, you can join our great crypto family and be part of our community also in Discord. And there I told you guys that it looks like that we could form here another head and shoulders pattern within the pattern that we already had here in the bigger picture. So here we have a big head and shoulders pattern here. This could be the potential right shoulder. And here we have kind of a mini head and shoulders within the right shoulder. So I pointed out that if here we're going to see a breakout to the downside, the first target to be watched is this one over here, the $33,700 area, because this support was also very important here in the past. As you can see here, we bounced several times and also with these big wicks that we had here during this head and shoulders pattern, we always came down more or less to this price level. So if these $33,500 are getting broken, then the next potential support is down here at the 200 moving average in the four hour, currently right at 30K. So as long as we are trading above the 200 moving average in the four hour and we can bounce from this important moving average, I think that Bitcoin still have the chance to go to higher levels, to have a big bounce from it because this 30K must be a very important psychological level. And if 30K is getting broken, then we will head towards way lower levels, my friends. So currently all eyes are now on this possible breakout here to the downside. And as you can see, currently we are also closing four hour candles below all the moving averages. So as long as we are not again trading above at least the 20 moving average, which currently is up here at around $37,000, we could see now this breakout to the downside, potentially even towards 30K, maybe even during the weekend. Because remember, on the weekends, we usually have always play time. So don't take this price action that is going on during the weekend for too significant very often we retrace where we close the CMEs on Friday and on Friday we closed the CMEs right at $36,270 so keep that price level in mind so also if during the weekend we're gonna see a big drop towards 30k most likely on Monday latest Tuesday we're gonna recover back up because if I'm not wrong, I think on Monday there is a holiday in the US so the stock markets will open again on Tuesday. So if we're gonna have a prolonged weekend, then make sure to be very aware if you're taking a short right now that we could retrace back up here again on Tuesday as soon as the CMEs are going to open again. But otherwise, this area where we are right now at around $35,000 could be a good short opportunity if you think that the price will go towards 30K, so towards the 200 moving average. In my opinion, it is very likely to happen since now we are breaking out to the downside here and the last support before 30K is this one over here at around $33,500. So if you want to trade a little bit more safe, then maybe wait here at least for a four hour close below $33,500 to then potentially see the price going towards 30K at least, because there is still the high risk that if here we don't gonna see a big bounce to the upside that we will continue to go lower. And therefore we have to go over into the daily time frame because here you can see the clear targets in case that we're gonna lose here first the 20 daily moving average where we are trading right now so if we're gonna start to close daily candles below this important moving average then you can see here the clear strong supports that we have first at around $27,000 if this 30k area will not hold because as you can see here, during this uptrend in the last couple of weeks, we created this ascending broadening channel and we had a resistance up here, which now should be acting as a new support. And currently this trend line is at around 30K. And that's why the 30K level is a very important level to hold. Otherwise we could starting to scale down towards these three important supports area. 
and the first one is right here at $27,500 which is also coinciding here with a 0.382 FIB retracement based on the bottom that we had in March last year and the top currently at $42,000. So if we're going to retrace back down here towards $27,500 this is where I'm expecting initial supports. If this one will not hold then watch out for the next level here at $24,000 down to the 0.5 FIB retracement at 23,000 and really for the worst case scenario that also this support will not hold here at the 20k area where also the 0.618 FIB retracement is lining up at 18,500 and by the way also the 20 weekly moving average is lining up we should lay the stair see the big bounce that will bring us again towards an uptrend because if Bitcoin is going to correct towards those bearish targets here and we're not going to see latest here at the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement a big bounce then things could be looking again more bearish than bullish also for the bigger outlook but since we are very bullish on Bitcoin and we still expect the price to go to way higher levels latest here I think you should be going all in my friends because this is really the last resort for the bulls if the price Price is correcting down even to those levels and you can see that also the 200 daily moving average now slowly is also entering in this area over here so the 200 moving average is down here at around sixteen thousand dollars so even for the worst case scenario that we couldn't hold here the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement I think the 200 is the last resort but I'm pretty confident that we will not reach these levels down here because already here at these two important support levels we're gonna have a lot of buy pressure and if we're gonna see the price coming down towards the 20k area latest here we're gonna see maybe a short lift wick to the downside a lot of buy power entering and then the price to go straight back up again. And of course at that time most likely also the 200 daily moving average will be also at these price levels up here. So if this breakout that we're seeing right now in the 4 hour time frame is gonna play out and we will not see a bounce at around 30k then be prepared to see this possible scenario that we could come down towards these 3 support areas. So if you still need to accumulate more Bitcoin make sure that you put everywhere here some buy orders and keep in mind that on Friday we had here some first closes of the DXY above the 200 moving average in the 4 hour time frame and this potential breakout could bring the DXY to higher levels towards the 100 to 200 daily moving average and therefore such a correction in the Bitcoin price could be in the cards especially if we are not closing daily candles above the 20 daily moving average if we're gonna start to close below this moving average i think we could be in this potential bigger correction and as you can see also in my own indicator the nine daily moving average turned into red so we are here in a downtrend and as long as we're not closing daily candles again above thirty-seven thousand dollar, i think the possible correction is very likely to happen and now we can also have a quick look into the weekly time frame because here I just want to show you again the 9 and 20 weekly moving averages these potential targets in case of a bigger correction the 9 weekly is right here at $25,600 and the 20 weekly is right at the 0.618 FIB retracement at $18,500 so these two moving averages we have to update next week so they will be slightly higher than those levels right now. So the conclusion for this video my friends is that right now it looks like that we could be in this uh, massive correction that we were waiting for so long because we need a healthy bigger correction also to cool off all the indicators. Also it is healthy to come down and confirm important supports level to then create a new base a new bottom and then continue our upwards trend. So if I would enter into a trade right now I definitely would open a short position at this very moment or maybe wait if we're gonna see here the bearish scenario to scale in some nice longs. So personally I'm waiting to open up some nice long positions because I don't like to short Bitcoin during an uptrend even though of course a possible bigger correction is in the cards and with this correction that could take us towards 30k and way lower of course you can also make very nice gains if you're shorting Bitcoin right now and keep in mind that on Bybit and Femex you can short Bitcoin, Ethereum and other cryptos up to 100x leverage so also with a small amount of money you can do really huge gains and if you still need an account use my links that you find down below here in the video description because with my links you will get some extra money some bonus and also you support the channel 
and if you also want to do some gains but you're not really comfortable in trading yourself with leverage bitcoin then try out prime xpt because here you can easily just register with my link down below here only with your email no need for kyc nothing then you just top up some bitcoin and click here on follow on the traders that you would like to follow and as you can see some of them have thousands of percentage of gains so here also you can multiply your bitcoins if you catch the right traders it is also very risky but like this you can do some passive money if you catch the right traders so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now let me know in the comment section what are you thinking are we gonna go down towards 30k and potentially even for lower or is this just a fake out and we're gonna have a big bounce already here at the 200 moving average and then continue towards 50k and higher let me know what are you thinking so i'm gonna wrap this up my friends because i'm heading towards the swiss alps i need some fresh air because here in switzerland we are back in lockdown until end of february so everything is looking like last year where we're gonna sit at home so before we're gonna close everything i will go one last day to the mountains enjoy a little bit the snow here and then of course enjoying my days with you together here doing these nice ta videos so please make sure that you're joining our community subscribe to the channel leave a like here and we're gonna see us all in the next one my friends bye for now